post more videos and more videos and more videos. So thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day and hope to see you soon. So that's cool. That was that was very that was very informative. Extremely informative. I didn't know most of that stuff. Huh. Well, the L lenses are the really expensive sixteen hundred dollar lenses and mm -hmm. the um and the kit lenses are the ones that come in the kit and he was saying, you know, he was saying that um and this beanie hat to protect my head from harmful full He was saying Canon kit lenses skip ads. He was saying I'm gonna do it on the T seven I. I'm gonna do portraits, some videos, some landscape, take some images, take some video, compare them. Let's make the switch. This is the L series lens. 24 by 70 f2.8. Running at an aperture of 2.8. Let's make the switch. This is the L series lens. The L series looks Hopefully much better in, in the situation that he's doing, but he also says it's minute and um. save your money. But for those of us that are really importantly, you know, so the reason I say that. Mm -hmm is that we're going to go back to um, to our Lightroom here, is that when we open Lightroom up in the daytime, and I notice that a little of your, uh, some of your photographs are blocked up in the shadows, and mm -hmm. this is a blocker here, um, but if you use, if you shoot in RAW, you can open your shadows anytime, because um, there's, you know, unless there's nothing here, you know, where you, um, I don't know where the, uh, let's see, where the tone curve, let's see if it's here. No, where the, no, let's see, split tame detail. Okay, I don't know how to get to the, to the there, there's a mode where it'll show you where there's no detail in the sun. There's no detail on his shirt. You know, here it'll come red and there's a mode that you can get there. And then when there's no detail oh. down here, you can't get anything when there's nothing. So, that's what HDR is about. Do you know about HDR? Uh, yeah, I know a little bit about HDR. Yeah. So you take three exposures, middle, open, and down, close for the highlights. So it, so most cameras take five exposures. Mine does four or five, and then you stitch them together, and you get you get full spectrum. So I would get all these shadows and everything like that. But but the reason that I'm um, that I we were we were looking at. The difference between the expensive glass and the cheap glass, most of us have the cheaper glass, but he was saying even the cheap glass is beautiful these days, which is fantastic because I've been shooting for 50 years and we used to use old German glass um, that was not that expensive, but beautiful. It had some beautiful characters to it. So right here in lens correction, the first thing I do now these days, and I'm getting myself used to it, is I turn on remove chromatic aberration. Chromatic aberration is um, like right here, wherever there's a line, a lineage of high contrast, there'll be like a green line around it. Have you ever seen that? A green or a red or blue line? Yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, like a halo. That's because we don't have the best glass and because it was diffracting. But the remove, uh, chromatic aberration is right there and if it doesn't remove everything by clicking on that then what happens is you can go in here and, and get rid of it you can get rid of those halos around a tree or around mm -hmm. something that has high resolution it's just I must have had a good lens on here it must have been from my Olympus because I have really expensive Olympus glass but that's my point is that this is a really beautiful um, ma, um, let's see where where are we? We're gonna go down to, oh, I'm I, profile. This is a really good check mark to start your um, your session off with the photograph, and then once you do that, the first thing you do is you do that, and then you go into um, our normal. What I like to do is well, I like to have fifty sharpening because most mm -hmm. cameras don't sharpen. So I bring it up to 50 and it looks like it's not getting grainy. Look, it's still pretty beautiful, right? Look at that, <laughs> you know, it's not too grainy, but if you want to get rid of grain, 
that's the luminous button here and we can do that later and I think we've already shown you that but I like yeah, I, I like clarity so watch the clarity I pull the okay. clarity up and it got too contrasty but mm -hmm. I like the clarity I didn't do it all the way and then I'll open the shadows here oh look we did have detail in the shadows okay but now it looks washed out and I'll give it a little bit of dehaze and that brought that down and I'll give a little bit of vibrance because that'll make the sky bluer and if I go all the way you can see that it just it, it'll blue the whole photo because the sky is reflecting in the car so what you do is just back it off until it, it, it's the most you can do okay so that was vibrance was five actually so now I take the highlights down boom take the highlights down and I go and I hit the letter K on my keyboard and that brings up this dialog that has the burn and dodge tool so I have it open to almost one let's bring it up to one okay and I have the shadows open so I want mm -hmm. to on my keyboard make that smaller and start to open up his face look I can open up his face really quickly and I can give it some clarity which will make it seem a little bit sharper but I, ha I have to open up the exposure a little bit more so so I open up the exposure a little bit more there and Ooh, okay it's looking pretty it's looking pretty. and I get him yeah I get him and then I click out of there click out of there by hitting K and bring it back and that'll start a new one and I get his hand so I got his hand a little bit and that's about it um, K and then K again I'll get this back of this truck car a little bit but that's what I like so I get out of K and I go back to my normal uh, tools here and mm -hmm. you can always remember hit L to see how you like it okay and then you go you open it back up and the last thing you know what I like to do is I like to give it a little bit of vignette it, it it just mm -hmm. warms up the corners and it brings everything in now I'm going to show you the sky magic here is this okay. this little square here it becomes a, squ a, a cross here you take it and you pull it down mm -hmm. you pull it down right to about there and then you bring the shadows down and you can bring the sky all the way down. See the sky? That's the gradation. Yes, yeah. It's a gradation tool. Oh, interesting. It's a gradation tool. So also in this, and you hit K again to get rid of it twice. Okay, so that brings it back to normal. Now see right mm -hmm. here where there's a smudge on my lens? Yes. Yeah, that's a smudge right there where it's not right what i would do with that is i would hit q and i would clone the crap out of that i would go like this oh i just lost my lightroom oof it happens okay. lightroom just crashed let's see if it comes back with that same photo so um so yeah so um there we go Okay, so now what I want to do is go back to that photo we were working on. Let's see if it'll go back there. Because it's trying to. Okay. Mm. Oh, might come back. It's trying. Dave Stringer. Okay, what was that in? That was in. Um, did I do any in in? Um, I forgot what that was in. That was in the car thing. Um, That was in the car thing. Man, we were just on a good roll there. Let's see here. 
the C, and I didn't, I don't think I put that in the quick collection yet. So let's go G, and let's go here to all my quick collection, and let's hmm. see if we have it in there. Okay, so that's there. Ah, nope. I didn't save that shot. Oh, dang. Okay, so anyways, what I would have done is with that smudge, with that smudge, what I would have done was hit Q, and Q takes anything. So if I go like this, it's right here. It, it, and if I pull that down, it brings mm -hmm. whatever if I want to do a hundred of his eyes, you know, oh, I, okay. you know, so I mean, mm -hmm. I did that by accident, but now it becomes a toy, right? And yeah, no, I see, you, I see. You. Yeah, it becomes a toy. And so I go, boom. And because life is art, you know, and that's what we've been talking about all day today is, is navigating art. Um, did you do any more shadows or did you have time to process anything this week? Um, I had a little bit of time, but I've been trying to prepare for going to Arizona for a week. Oh, cool. Just finished up a lot of schoolwork and stuff, so it's been a little bit tough. I'm gonna take a lot of photos in Arizona, like a lot, a lot. <laughs> yeah, do do magic hour for sure, you know. And um, let's see if I can. Oh no, that's gonna go. Yeah, no, I'm working stuff out on it. I'm gonna bring a laptop because I'm gonna run out of space pretty fast. <laughs> oh, you have a laptop that's all full. No, no, no. My SD cards on my uh, camera, they're probably going to run out of space pretty fast. So I'm oh, going to export a lot of my laptop. Wait, 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 wait. Your SD card should never run out of space. You should you should wipe it out and download everything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to put them all on my laptop uh, over, over time at Arizona. Okay, if cool. I can fill one up a day. Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, for sure. Well, I like to wake up at 6 in the morning when I'm in Red Rock. You know, is, is that where you're going? Um, somewhere near there. Not exactly, though. I think we're going to visit it, though. We're going to the Grand Canyon. I know that. Yeah, but I'm just saying there's Red Rock in the Grand Canyon. You know that waterfall shot I did. That was at Red Rock? Oh. That, that, yeah, that's from the Grand Canyon, dude, that shot. Dang. Okay, okay. Let's you see know, if I can so, find it. So, yeah. And are you guys driving or flying? We're flying. We're flying. Um, yeah. So you're gonna take your small tripod, not the big one. I probably gonna put. I'm gonna I might put the big one in like luggage. That'd be Carry great. That, that'd be great. Yeah. Do you want to borrow a lighter weight one? Oh, I have a pretty lightweight one that I use mostly. No, 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 no. no. Do you want to well. borrow a lighter weight big one? Um, I uh, sure. I guess for a little bit, yeah. For the well, you, trip, you just you 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 shove that one down tonight or tomorrow. And just uh -huh. put it in your bag and see if it if it feels good. If it feels good, then then take the one you have because that's a good one. I don't mind you having that. The, that's okay. that's the classic tripod of all times, dude. Really? That's huh. the that's a tilt all. And and Ansel used one. Brett used one. And and you know it's the classic one of all times. It goes in the water. It goes on sand. And that is a beautiful, beautiful freaking tripod. Yes. Yeah, no, it's really nice. Thank you for it. Mm. That's great. Yeah, and mm. um, are you going to take your light with you or keep it at home? Uh, yeah, I'm going to take my light with me just because okay. I want to And do you got the charger analysis. for it? You got the charger for it? Yeah, I got the charger for it. Okay, and you have a special bag for, for all that stuff? Yeah. Got do you want to borrow a Tupperware? It. Do you want to borrow a Tupperware? No, I already got Tupperware for it already. So great. Okay, fantastic. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Connect. That's making me freaking I'm excited. Happy. So um, we're rolling down here on our on our time. Um, yeah, do you like me in my suit, dude? 
I do like it. It's very nice. 420 badge on it. Uh, well, but great. this is my hemp suit. I made this suit in. Oh, you did? Really? I made, I made this suit in Vietnam. Damn! I like it a lot. <laughs> I like the well, wrist cuffs as well. Oh, that that's yeah. Those are my my um, hemp necklaces. But anyways, oh. this tie is this tie. See this mm -hmm. tie? It says THC. Yes, yeah. I see it. It's 35 years old, and I won't even Damn. wash it because I don't want to ruin it. But if my, buddy, my buddy made this from Hemp Fest, uh, Hempstead, and um, nice. it is so freaking old. And my my necklace is hemp rope, and my blue shirt is all hemp. So I'm all mm -hmm. hemped out today. Look at the lining on, on this vest. It's cool. It's very nice. Shiny. I like you it. Know? And, um, stylish. Well, my other vest... My other vest is the original one. Um, it's got more boring lining, but it's still a beauty. It's all, you know, I, I love my my line. We just have to make hemp legal. True, true, true. You know? hey, at least we got it in Washington. Yeah, oh, totally. And so, yeah, did you have any questions, actually? No, not really. I I was I learned a lot today about the L lens and just stock normal lenses, but yeah, no, I'm just preparing for uh, the Whidbey trip and then also my Arizona. So it's getting my camera ready, working on my yeah, skills. Yeah, so the more. the um the L lens is reason I said that is because you want to start when you go into anything you work on, click on mm -hmm. that that one little area. Okay. Let's find out where it is and then we'll be done. Um, that one little area here is, um, it's called, it's called lens correction and you bring that oh. triangle down under lens correction mm -hmm. and you go manual or just automatic and you just click on that and, okay. you know, especially in color, you know, if you're, if you're in color, um, that's a pretty colorful shot. Um, and you and you zoom up on it. Um, you go. Mm -hmm. You zoom up up on it. You go even deeper in there. Um, there's normally some chromatic aberration. It's like this oh, this line that. here. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. K K. There you go. Okay. It's like the line that goes around things, and mm -hmm. there, and it'll get rid of that line. That line there is not natural on film. You would never see that. Oh, this line on his shoulder is chromatic aberration, and so when I click it, when I click it, it sometimes goes away. And if it doesn't go away, um, then you can play with it, you know, by doing some of these scrolly things, you know. Uh -huh. See, there it is. It got. It just went away, you know. Interesting. See, it just went away as I did a manual on it, and it made mm -hmm. that cheap lens better. And it's okay. He's red because he's under a red canopy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get what you mean. Interesting. Huh, I didn't know about that. So I was sure to use it. So yeah. So you gotta um, click on that every time you start to edit um, from here on okay, out okay. because it won't save it, and you can save a preset. If you have the same clarity and the same sharpness and that preset and you just save it as your own preset and you can say Aiden's master um, edit one, mm -hmm. master okay, edit okay. two, master edit three, you'll know that and you can go over and click on a preset and it'll do that automatically for you. You don't have to scroll through it. So I will see you, um, let's see. If we're going to do would be, why don't we, are you free earlier? Um, let me see. Thursday. I'm free at like 12, like 11, maybe. Does that work? Why don't we, why don't we do an, uh, there's probably an 1130, uh, boat. Um, okay. you know, and let me, let me check on that here. Let me see right now what, um, W S D O T. Let's see, Washington Ferries, Washington Ferries, 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 Ferries. Okay, travel times. Are these the ferries? Washington, W-F-D-O-T. Here he goes, ferries. 
I just want to get to the fairy side. I love fairies. Okay, so now we are going to go schedules. Okay. They make it so difficult. Uh, look, I can't even schedule your route. Find your route. See the sailing times. Okay, Port Towns into Coopville. Okay, May, January. May, January. Okay, January through May. Okay, so we have an 11 and we have a 1230. Um, do you want to get on the 11 boat and we'll get some early light or do you want to get afternoon light? If we go at 1230, the light's going to be super hot. Um, if, oh, we go, if we go at the 11, it'll be less, but getting on the verge, you want to go on the 930? Um, that's pretty early because I got to, the Thursday is the day before I leave to Arizona. Oh, okay. So All right. Let's kind let's of go. my prep day. Yeah. Okay. That's why I'm trying to give myself a little bit of time. Let's go on the, do you want to go on the 11 or the 1230? I'll leave it up to you. Uh, I'll do 1130. I'm down with that. The, the 11, it's 11. Oh, 11. Yeah. Uh, 11 yeah, sure. I'll do the 11 o'clock. Okay, so I'll make reservations right now for the 11 ferry. And um, I will, um, if there's anything that comes up, text me tomorrow night um, or in the morning. And Yeah, I will. I'm going to make sure we're not going anywhere on Thursday. Cause if we might go to our cousins first, like to go to be closer to SeaTac before we leave the next day. But I'm pretty okay. sure that's not happening. Okay. But I'll keep you posted. I'm really well, trying to go. What what I think is we should spend two or three hours on on the uh, let's see the the times they come back leave Coopville is four fifteen so if we get on the eleven we'll be there at eleven thirty let's let's be on the four fifteen ferry home okay okay All yeah right. if anything and, and changes we'll be, I'll text we'll be you back here we'll be back here by four forty five and then you can just get packed and go. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. So that's what, what I'll do. We'll be on the 11 and the 415. Okay. I'm going to check in with my mom, make sure there's no conflicts and I'll uh, text you before night tonight. Uh, and if there is anything, but you I'm pretty sure there's not. You want to screenshot this? Am I sharing my screen with you now? Uh, no, just 11 o'clock, right? We're going on the 11 o'clock. We're going on the 11 and we're going to come back at the 415. All right. I'll just write that down. All right. Peace out. All right. Peace. Thanks for the class. Okay, okay man. Thank you. That was that.